Welcome back to What Killed the Dinosaurs, Mystery Solved, Part 4, The Mathematical Proof. I'm going to go fairly quickly. I'm going to try to keep the time down, keep it under 100 megapixels. So I'm going to go fairly quickly. What you will need is a map of Hudson Bay. I just traced one off a map, very simple. You can print one out. You need a map, you need a, a protractor, a ruler, and a pencil. And we'll get right to it. I go too fast, you can just watch again. Okay, I didn't mark it on my map, but there is an island. First, in order to find a mega eruption, I needed to find circles because they explode like a nuclear explosion, so they have a ground zero and they radiate out in a perfect circle from the tremendous force. And this is how I found my discovery by noticing the perfect arc. There's a perfect arc here. And it's like a caldera because this is how I want you to find it. Put your point on the island. Find the ring of islands that go along the coast. And you'll put your pencil. And you'll just find the arc of the islands. Now, I don't have a protractor. <laughs> I have a cap. But it fits. I've already checked it. And this is so obvious that it doesn't need to be exact. It is just that obvious. So, I'm just going to trace out my circle, you use your protractor, and there we have it. I'll just fill it in so it's a little thicker and bolder so you can see it, and there you go. Following the natural arc, you have a perfect circle. And there's ground zero, and that's where it blew up. To find your next circle, you have to find another arc. Well, here's another arc. There's a nice little arc, you'll see it on your map, it's very pronounced, and I didn't... I found the lid to fit it. So, to find it, place your pointed protractor on the line, the outside line here. You'll find a point at the top of this circle. There is a point. You'll see another arch here, and I'm not getting into that now, but that, I want you to put your pencil on that point and then follow it along this arc, and you'll be able to get yourself a nice little circle like this. Okay, just make it a little bolder for you. So this doesn't have to be exact. Okay, there's the ground zero. Now, there's three of these. Now, you'll find the arc over here. There's another pronounced arc. The first eruption was smaller than the second, but the third eruption, I think it's slightly bigger, and you'll be able to get it more exact, but it's close enough that I can use the same cap. Just follow your arc. Try to get it to as close to the edge here. You just follow along the arc. You take your protractor, you just keep swooping it out, and then you just follow it around. And there's your ground zero, there's a ground zero, and there's a ground zero. So you have three perfect circles within Hudson Bay. Did three meteorites hit the Earth dead on? I doubt it. Shoemaker Levy 9 hit, but it would have been spread out. There was a series, 26 fragments that hit Jupiter, and they were spread out quite a bit. Now you need your ruler. This is a key. Because when you intersect, Draw a line through those, through ground zero of each eruption. You will have a direction, north by northwest, which happens to be continental drift. Exactly continental drift. Okay. But we now know what caused them, but when did they happen? And I found out, this is why I know what they were and how they are, because I found out when they happened. And this is how I did. This is the North American continents, continents drift. So I'm going to draw the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This is where the continents separate. Lava comes up and it pushes the continents away. Europe and South America are heading off this way, and then North America was here 200 million years ago and is traveling here. This is 200 million years that it's traveled to its present day position over here. If you go back 
in time, 200 million years, the edge of North America will run up and down the ridge. What I did to figure out the time of these eruptions was imagine that the continent just went further back in time, and I put the continent where it would be at 500 million years, right through the middle of Canada, 500 million years ago. The freshwater lakes in Canada, Canada is seven tenths of the world's freshwater because as Canada, the North American continent, went over this ridge, it was punching holes and making lakes. When, here's our first eruption, the big circle. When did that pass over? Uh, and we're using the rate, exact rate of continental drift. When did that pass over? Well, that passed over 448 approximate million years ago. When did the second one go over? It went over approximately 110 million years ago. The third one, 365 million years ago. Why are these events or these dates important. All three of these are major extinction events. This is where the amphibians developed. Each one of these events wiped out almost all of the plant and animal life in the world. What we really want to know is, is there any more? And yes, there are more. There's one in the Gulf of St. Lawrence at PEI. PEI is an island formed in the caldera of a, a mega eruption. But we want to know what killed the dinosaurs. So I'm going to draw a simple map of the Gulf of Mexico. This isn't even exact, it's just, this. but it shows how perfect the theory is. So we have Florida. Everybody recognize Florida, the Gulf of Mexico. This is the Yucatan Peninsula. This is where they found large quantities of uridium. Right here is where they think the giant meteorite crashed into the ocean, splashing waves, throwing up ash, and killing the dinosaurs. They're wrong. They are so close, but they are wrong. They are merely to the east a little bit because ground zero for the mega eruption is right there. And if you look, there's the circle. But there's a problem with this circle. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't a perfect circle. Is where's the top? Mm -hmm. I found the top by going north. Look at here. There's the top. On any map of the Gulf of Mexico, you will see the top half of that circle. Why is it up there? Why did the circle get broken while continental drift again? North by northwest. Actually, there's a huge plate in here which is causing the formation of the Caribbean islands. As continental drift, and I'll show you a little bit easier with a circle. This is your mega eruption, ground zero. Continental drift to the northwest is pushing the top of the circle here. It's not moving quite, I got that northwest, but it's moving more of a little westerly southwest. It's just ripping open the circle and it's making it into a sea. Well, over time, as North America pushed even further this way and this pushed out this way, it made this sea elongated. So here's the top part, there's the bottom part, there you go. And this is so easy, you just go like this, there's Florida, you the Ten Peninsula, there's the bottom half, and there's the top half, ground zero. You pushed up this direction, you pushed up this direction. Your sea has just been ripped open. So they're close, but no cigar. I hope this is under 100 megapixels. I will explain my poor production values and how you can help me. I'm not a scientist. I only have a high school graduation diploma. I do not know how to write a scientific paper. I need independent verification. If you know anybody, science background, anybody in the math, have them look at this and see if they believe it. I know I do. And see, I just need independent verification. So tune in to part five.